In every SAO part, there is the main girl that Kirito is with, and sometimes we get new girls, and then the previous girl gets benched, and we say, ha, she got cucked. And we have Elizabeth, Silica, Sugu, and now Asna and Sinon, and I thought, what kind of new girl are we gonna get? Holy shit, Zekin is a girl. And I'm like, wait, is Asna gonna get cucked this arc? Nah. Nah, Kirito is the one that's getting cucked this arc. Asuna and Zekin hold hands, they fly off into the distance. She is worthy because someone has finally made her, uh, Zekin, use the 11 string combo. What is happening right now? I don't know, I'm kind of down. Even from the beginning, it looked like the direction of this arc was having Kirito off to the side because he's been like snoring and snoozing the entire time while doing the explanations, right? This does seem to be like an Asuna centric arc, and I'm all for it. Her mom. Absolute hell of a mother, gold digging bitch. Let's begin today's reaction. Sleeping good night. Okay, they all look pretty nice. All right, Asuna's gonna join a new guild. No, she's not. Shota. Recon like. Nervous kid. This looks like Kirito if it was girl for some reason. Same drip. Hairstyle, color, I don't know. It could totally be Kirito if he tied his hair up and like, like that, right? She's a spree gun. I love Shune the most. Shune is the best right here. That just seems nice. Can you join us? And they need Asuna to do it? Huh? 49 people for a boss fight. <laughs> and they cleared that shit, huh? With six people only. Big guilds. Oh. What happens in spring? People going back to school? Oh, that's sad. Oh, man. You just got a bunch of good friends. You're just playing over the winter break and spring happens. And then what? Everyone has lives to go back to because this is still like the New Year's and it's kind of like holiday. What is that? We got... It's exclusive to spring? うん。あら。それがボス攻略って第1章始まりの街にある国鉄級。あそこの剣士の日に。That used to be the record of people that died, right? Yeah, that was the number of people that like died or some shit in episode 1 and season 1, and, right? Wasn't this place is like now it's turned into a place of like recognition and wow, these party members cleared the raid, but before it's like, ha, these losers already dead. <laughs> is Zaza here? Zaza! Anybody? Black Jack? Was it Jack Black? No, that's an actor. Johnny Black! No, they're not really here. I see Asna here, the floor 18. Kraudo, Asna, Bruntu, Kuro, Jasmine. Interesting. Zayax! Not Zaza, Zayax. This dude's name is just weed. <laughs> Bro's name is just fucking weed over here. That's why we need to clear it with our own team. Or you could all have your own parties and have a bunch of, you know, meat shields that could also honestly just be helpful just to buy time. I'm not sure. And like, it's not like the rate is going to scale with the amount of people in it, right? It's not like the less people that's going to scale downward. So you could each all have your own party, bring a bucket of meat shields, and then when you beat it, every one of you could be there, but fuck that shit. そこでみんなと相談して決めたのです。ので、私たちの中で最強の勇気と同じか、それ以上に強い人を探して、だから。どうでしょう。素敵ないかもしれないんですが。ああ、いえいえ。どうせボス討伐が好きな人はいいです。
it's the boss that we're fighting, right? But that's kind of boring. There must be other parties that's going to be um, doing the same shit, right? Trying to go after the boss. What if it's like Mother Rosario's party that we're directly competing with to get there? And then who is Mother Rosario? Couldn't it, wouldn't it be crazy if it's Asna's mom secretly playing? <laughs> like she's a fucking hardcore gamer. She's Mother Rosario. And like she's reading a fucking raid party. And like we're competing with their mom. And at the very end, it's like, wait, Asna, is that you? Mom? And then it could have a good like mom-daughter bonding session over this video game that she hated. And it's like, see, you always love this shit. And then it'd be like a happy resolution for the family and us, right? Like that would be fun, but I don't think that's really happening, guys. <laughs> That's right, and then Kirito can rizz up Asuna's mom, and then she can join our harem, exactly. The roleplay. Yuri. They should just both call each other Yuki. Yeah, like Kirito. Yeah, why didn't she use the skill against Kirito? Why? Because he's too much of a loner? It wouldn't work because he figured out my secret. What was the secret that he figured out? He said something along the lines of, she can't be from SAO because, you know, she would have had dual wield. Is there anything else? The fuck? Oh yeah, that she's like the, she's like literally like terminally online, right? That like, because she's a converted character, which means that she must be like literally always on. So there's a... Is Yuki the product of the Cardinal? Kind of like... Kind of like... So, it feels like this arc is like an Asuna therapy session for her to understand her identity. And you know what Yui was, right? For the Cardinal system, Yui kind of was made sure to like, uh, maintain mental health to people. I don't know. What if, like, the system created Zekin or Yuki in a way in response to Asuna's desires of this identity crisis to help her figure this shit out and Yuki's not a fucking real person and it's just AI. I, I don't know. Where are we going with this? Okay! okay. Surely no party wipe and everyone's gonna die, right? Mom plugged the Wi-Fi up. How could you do this? What the fuck? You can't do that? No! What about it? Senget, Shokujino Jikanyo Emuki Otskate Okretara. Dengan Kirimaskara net. Oh my god, some bullshit. That's yeah, so rude, mom. Oh, five minutes too long? Just go eat by yourself! Yes. Yes. We should run away from home. Let's go live with Kirito. <gasps> no! We're getting grounded! She's picking the atmosphere away! That's actually a valid reason. This is actually like, 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 like think about it like this, right? Like, like, imagine your kid was stuck in a game for two years where it's life or death, and you were afraid, like, is my kid gonna return back alive? And they do, and then they decide to go back in the game, right? That is an actual concern that I think a lot of the that, like people kind of just overlook. Like, what kind of insane person would decide to play these fucking VR MMOs again after the SAO incident? That is fair. That is fair. That's right, it's Amusphere Mom, not Nerf Gear. What is that picture? Maybe it doesn't matter. That's a picture of Asna and I'm not sure. Your mom just gotta come play with one day, man. Let Kirito Rizzer up. This sucks here though, man.
Toes. <laughs> oh, she mad mad. Is she gonna run away? No, she's not gonna run away, right? What's going on here? Mum, mum. Shinozaki Rika. Don't know who Rika is. Do we need to know Rika? Kirito, call him! Call Kirito! Kirito, please save me! My mom's grounding me! I can't play with Amusphere anymore! Man... Honestly though, when you're a kid, when you're a kid and you're like in high school and you have no control over this, right? You're, it's your parents' house. They can do whatever the fuck you want. It's like, fuck, I can't... This is some bullshit, bro. あ、ゆきとじゅん、ケッチがフォワード。タルケンとノリが緑レンジ。ことは私は応援に来たいね。まあ、ごめんね。どうせ私じゃ立て役はできないし。その代わり、ジュンとケッチにはバ。ああ、
Yeah, that's what that was. I'm like, something was on the ground. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So that was what they used to kind of like spy on us and learn from the information. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, it was this thing. Little lizard, slithering lizard. Darkness spell called peeping. <laughs> peeping! They took your info. Yes, they learned off of your mistakes. We have to go back in there immediately and clear the boss before they do then. Hmm? Okay. To mobilize immediately? We can beat them within that hour? But we have five episodes left for this season. What do you mean? And we still haven't met Mother Rosario. Are we really gonna clear that quick? All right, we're back. We're back. Fifty-man raid. Oh no, they got early. Look at these cheaters, man. What? Someone's in there? Oh. What? What game do you need fucking these players' permissions to enter a raid? Like, can't, like, it, it sounds like they can just, like, stop people from entering, but it's like, fuck you, you're a player. I, I just need to enter the room. Like, you can't stop me. What do you mean? <laughs> so, this is their way of doing it, right? The strategy is, all right, now we're going to mobilize our forces and learn the patterns, but we can't do it too quick. So, let's send 20 off in there and make it look like they're holding the line. While the actual other people are basically studying what the mistakes were. And then later they're going to show up and then they're going to do it. So these guys are literally here just holding the fucking line. Did the game system literally prevent us from entering? Like why do we need to listen to these idiots? PK incoming. Aqua Bind. Yo, that blue hair girl's gonna get so excited to use, you know, her skills for PvP soon. Alright, die then. <laughs> Yuki's crazy! <laughs> she found a 1v20! What, conversations? Yo, our party's ready. Let's go, Sleeping Nights. <laughs> Move or die. What are you gonna do? You have to go laugh and pop it right now. What do you mean it's not fair? Get the fuck out of my way. Hmm? That line. How serious you are. Your mom? She gonna let out the stress from mom being a bitch into this fight? Is is that what you keep? What what is this? Like, I don't think it's saying fight mom, right? Is it? I I don't think it's. I don't know if if this is fighting mom or remembering the shitty things happening. And we're gonna you know release the stress on these NPCs here. Sort out. Uh oh, I feel a cliffhanger incoming. Wait. Oh my goodness. I didn't think it was possible for there to exist a character that would beat Shino's butt crack. But what is that? What? What is this? That's more than Shino's butt crack and it's closed the entire time too. What in the holy? I cannot believe. <laughs> I was like, hold on. Am I seeing this correctly? I am. They fucking drew so much details here. Oh, shit. Kirito is so cocked this arc, man. That's funny. Some of the middle people are actual drawn, but these dudes on the left side are CGI. These red armored knights over here. These red armored knights are literal fucking CGI. This, this, this. But these dudes are like actually drawn. Why, why did they, why did those guys get done dirty? They're like, oh shit, we ran out of budget for just these three. Oh, Furries. Kirito! Oh shit! I didn't 
didn't think he was gonna play a part this hard. That's my girlfriend. <laughs> Off limits. <laughs> Repeated the same line back at them. That is today's episode. Man, this arc is pretty decent, right? I mean, the whole premise of trying to clear the boss as fast as we can and having other parties, trying to learn from him and then just like go going there immediately. Very realistic. This shit happens all the time in MMO. Minus the part where you get to like leak in and then like, you know, study off of the enemies. Sorry, the other people's party being, you know, making mistakes. Kirito, I thought he'd be just completely gone this arc and it'd be focusing on Yui and Yuki. Sorry, uh, Asuna and Yuki. But hey, the Black Swordsman shows up at the end and, you know, the clutch. That's actually so wholesome. You know, Yui is here too. But like these two straight up got replaced by Yuki. What is Yuki, right? Kirito figured out the secret. The secret of Zeken or Yuki, right? Because she's not an SAO character. She's converted character or she's a product as someone that's eternally online in full drive and the more i think about it the more it makes sense that maybe just like how yui was you know the cardinals you know product maybe yuki also is out of asuna's desires and identity crisis to help her out i'm not sure also who the fuck is mother rosario after this episode we have four more until the season end we still don't know who mother rosario is my theory i think it would be fucking hilarious right i i thought it would be hilarious if Asna's mom is secretly like leading this guild or some shit and Mother Rosario is their guild leader and it's fucking Asna's mom and we're competing against their fucking mom to like beat the fucking boss or something. I thought it'd be hilarious but probably not the case and that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlists for more content and until next time, take care.